Okay, excellent. Now it's time to get ourselves a server where we're going to install Zabbix server. Now Zabbix server uses a lot of resources and it puts a lot of demand on the database that it uses. So installing it on a local VM on your computer is not really going to give you good performance. So what I recommend is using a cloud provider. Now I'm going to use DigitalOcean throughout this course and DigitalOcean works very well for me. So if you use my coupon, you get by default $50 for 30 days, but actually most of the time you get $100 for 60 days. So that's a lot of free credit to create and destroy services as you need. So there's no problem if you make mistakes, you can just delete your server and start again. So that's a really good thing about using cloud providers as well. Don't use your own servers, your own production service because we will break things and it's just easier to delete something sometimes and just start again. So you can also use Hetzner. The credit in Hetzner is not quite as good as DigitalOcean, but they're both very similar systems to use. You'll have no problem using either system if you've used one of them before. So just to show you DigitalOcean, if I use that link there, copy the link and visit that in the browser, it says free credit active, getting started on DigitalOcean with $100 60 day credit for new users or with the Hetzner link. Okay, you receive 20 euros in cloud credits. So it's not going to cost you anything to use these services. And I recommend it because you're going to have a better experience. Okay, so just to show you how easy it is to set up a server in DigitalOcean, I'm going to set up one now that I'm going to use for my Zavix server throughout the course. Okay, so I've logged on to my DigitalOcean account and I've created myself a new project called Zavix Course. It's optional to create a project. But what I'm going to do is create a new droplet. I'm going to use Ubuntu 20.04 Basic. I'm going to use Premium Intel with NVMe SSD. I'm going to choose the $12 a month droplet. Those are the specs. You can also use the $6 a month droplet. I often install Zabbix servers on that, but this time I'm going to use a $12 a month because I want my server to be slightly better. And it is. It's two CPUs, 50 gigs of SSD and two terabytes of transfer. Okay, so I'm going to put it in Amsterdam. It's going to use a VPC network. You can change that if you want, but just stay with the default. It's good enough. Authentication. I've already created an SSH key in DigitalOcean for myself. I recommend doing that because it makes it so much easier. But if you want, you can also choose a one-time password that you'll need to change once you've logged in. But SSH keys in the long term are easier to use. Okay, we don't need any additional options for the host name. Choose what you want. I'm going to use zabbix.sbcode.net. Use whatever name you want, then create the droplet. Okay, then after a minute or so, you will have your server ready and it would have given you an IP address. Okay, so that's my IP address. I can copy that. I can set that up inside my SSH client. For that, I use Putty, so I can put my IP address there. I'll name it Zabbix. I'll save that for now, so it's there. But I'm also going to change some of the settings. So SSH auth, I'm gonna to point to my SSH key. Okay, I'm also going to change the appearance so it's easier to read. Okay, and then go back up to session and press save. Now log on. Okay, I'll now log on as root. Okay, and that's my brand new Ubuntu server from DigitalOcean that I'll use for my Zabbix server throughout the course. And that's my IP address there. Okay, so excellent. That's my setup. And I recommend copying me so that what you do matches what I show in the videos. Okay, excellent. Now we can continue on downloading and installing the Zabbix repository. Excellent.